Drilling HSE Newsletter, 7th edition, the 12th of December 2020. Wells Process Safety Incident. The uncontrolled flow of oil contaminated from tubing. Incident Description The well failed less than one week of production. Work of a planned and the rig mobilized to the site where rig acceptance was performed. Unable to bullhead kill the annular side due to bottom hole pumping pressure up to 3000 psi 30 minutes to bleed off to 2000 psi. Management of change was issued and the tubing was punched above ESP and well circulated under controlled conditions to 8.5 ppg kill weight brine all round. The completion was retrieved in wax clay deposits were observed to have plugged the ESP sent for analysis. A clean-out trip was performed at 3,322 meters. The decision was made to run a test string. Test string was run in whole, pack a set at 3,150 MBDF. Coil tubing was rigged up. Run in whole and nitrogen artificial lift was performed in an attempt to lift and assess the well. It was concluded that the perforations were likely plugged and required remedial treatment. A further program amendment was issued on 30 September 19, late afternoon. Coil tubing was purged and rigged down. Rig attempted to bullhead the tubing as per program amendment but was only able to pump plus or minus 10 bbls into the tubing as pumping pressure was observed to increase to plus or minus 1700 psi. The pressure was bled off and the well tubing was flow checked via the test tree to flare for plus 1.5 hours with no returns observed. The surface test tree was rigged down and laid out. A 3.5 EUE 5 kpsi full opening safety valve was installed on the string and closed. The packer was unset and confirmed free. Attempts were made to open the closed string full opening safety valve. The full opening safety valve could not be opened. Pressure equalization above the valve was performed. Various methods were used in an attempt to open the closed full opening safely valve all of which were unsuccessful. A leak occurred at the low FOS V3.5 EUE pin by 3.5 EUE tubing box connection at the rig floor it was discussed and decided to back out the full opening safety valve two threads in an attempt to bleed off the trapped pressure below the full opening safety valve. Once the valve was backed out two turns, an uncontrolled flow of oil contaminated brine was observed to flow from the tubing. Multiple attempts were made to stab the backup full opening safety valve by the rig crew but were unsuccessful due to the rate of flow. The shear rams were activated as per the well control procedure, shearing the pipe and securing the well. Root Cause Analysis
చేరుతాయి Failure of a drilling rig mass structure. Safety alert. Learning from incidents. Overturned excavator. Asset damage. Incident Description On November 16, 2020, at 4 p.m. at Fairun Terminal, a contractor's excavator was excavating the second pit of the four that are required to lay down the grey branch line for the FF system revamping. The excavation location was adjacent to the tank number 4 dike. Both sides, right and left of the excavator were successfully completed and the excavator was maneuvering to change its position. Suddenly the soil underneath the excavator collapsed and it fell inside the pit on its left side turning over. The operator cabinet ended up being on top of the excavator after turnover which facilitated the operator in escaping without suffering any significant consequence. The cabinet resulted in being partially damaged as well as minor diesel leakage was observed. What went wrong? 
lack of risk perception, activity recognized as routine and not potentially hazardous, inadequate hazards identification and risk assessment. Hazards related to the narrow spaces and possible falls were not identified therefore not assessed. Pre-job inspections not adequately implemented, weak soil was not identified. Inadequate supervision, lack of implementation of the Stop Work Authority, SWA. Use of machinery, engines is not fit for area, vert conditions. The excavator was too heavy and bulky in relation to the available spaces for maneuvering. Lesson learnt Never underestimate risks, especially during routine operations. Ensure that all aspects, hazards related to the work are identified and properly assessed. Always inspect the area of work prior to commencement of activity so as to identify all possible hazards. Ensure competent supervision is available and that each worker is effectively empowered with stop work authority. Tools and machinery shall be chosen in relation to the actual working conditions. Changing conditions may require different tools, machinery and a new risk assessment. Blind shear rams damaged after inadvertently closing on a tool string. In June 2020, an operator, along with its drilling contractor, was conducting completion operations on a well in the Gulf of Mexico when the blind shear rams BSRs were damaged. As part of routine operations and regulatory compliance, a test of the BSRs was performed in which a blowout prevent a bop test tool was run. During this test, the drill pipe was inadvertently backed off at a connection above the test assembly as the drill pipe was rotated to release the test tool. When the BSRs were closed, the gallon count showed an abnormality, indicating an object was in its path. Upon recovery of the object, the damage was found on the test tool as a result of an impact by the BSRs. Therefore, Bessie recommends that operators consider the following, report all tests of BSRs to Bessie immediately when it impacts an object or fails to close completely on activation. In the event of a blind shear closure command that results in the round block blades contacting shearable and or non-shearable, immediately plan to pull the stack in order to inspect the ram block and associated blades and fasteners review and confirm all conditions prior to testing any components of the BOP, and consider a checklist to organize the verification of parameters. Note an incident as a significant event in a well activity report war, submitted to Bessie if the BSR impacts an object at any time, and confirm all independent. Third-party requirements under 30 CFR Section 250.732 are met after the initial closing of a BSR, including, but not limited to, 250.732 of 1 I.
also press this bell icon so you never miss any new updates cause whenever we upload new video you will get a notification on your phone.